making you a god in zion and to you the vow shall be performed amen let's pray gracious loving heavenly father at the time of this sunset worship we come to your sanctuary celebrating your great faithfulness every morning your mercies are new every evening your faithfulness is so great and we are safe in your presence this is the day that the lord hath made we will be rejoicing and be glad in it we invoke your anointing upon this service and those who are gathering in this manner on this time of sunset worship pour out your holy spirit upon your congregation on the other side a beautiful sunday morning children are getting ready for their sunday schools youth meetings and the worship service be with us and guide us lord those who are managing the systems making the music those who are participating in the worship and those who lead the service and you strengthen us and anoint every part of this ministry we may be totally mindful of your presence and without any unmindfulness we may utter every word that we are speaking to you we are praising you and we are proclaiming your word and we are listening to you strengthen us guide us throughout this service encourage your children and facilitate so that they may also come and congregate together we may lift up your name and celebrate the great event of resurrection in the very living presence of your son bless us and guide us take all glory from us in jesus precious name we pray amen i will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart i will enter his courts with praise Thank mm -hmm. you. to god and renew a right spirit within me look into our hearts the eyes of the lord without purity not possible to praise and worship let us get right with god when it is called today
Lord, I lift your name on high. Jesus, who came down from heaven to earth, went to the cross, laid in the tomb, but he is resurrected from the dead, ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, lifting the name of Jesus in our lives. Lord, I lift your name on high Lord, I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you ain't my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to us My dead to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high You came from heaven to earth You show the way From the earth to the cross My dead to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on Finally, we sing, when the Spirit of the Lord moves in my soul, like David the shepherd, I praise.
spirit of the Lord moves in my soul Like David the shepherd I pray And the spirit of the Lord moves in my soul Like David the shepherd I pray I pray I pray I pray like David the shepherd I pray I pray I pray I pray like David the shepherd I pray Can the spirit of the Lord move in my soul like David the sinner I pray And the spirit of the Lord moves in my soul Like David the sinner I pray I pray, I pray, I pray Like David the sinner I pray I pray, I pray of the Lord moves in my soul like David the victor I joy and the spirit of the Lord moves in my soul like David the victor I rejoice I rejoice I rejoice I rejoice like David the victor I rejoice I pray, I pray, I 
Let's look to God in prayer. Let's pray. O oh God, come to our aid. Holy, 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 Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Glory to the Father, our Creator, Glory to the Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Glory to the Holy Spirit who sanctifies us, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, to the end of the ages. Amen. Let us offer the confessional prayer. Let us look into our hearts, getting right with God when it is called today. In the morning, many people lived. In the evening, many people were absent from this globe. Absent here, present in the world of dead, whether it is in paradise or a torturous. Let us have the fear of God. Let us introspect and check up and get right with the Lord by saying this prayer. Yorena Telugu service bedal of Valunte. Nobody is there, no problem, let us pray. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and act. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We ask you in your mercy to forgive what we have been, to amend what we are, to direct what we shall be, that we may delight in our will and walk in your ways. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Now we can worship God by joining with the hosts of heaven, innumerable in number, offering praise and worship and adoration without ceasing. Telugu Bible ever in this day, Prakatan Nalgo Ajay, Menibudundi Parakundavar. Aida wajah itu memang nundi padnaal gua orang kecuali itu dewa nara dince dama. Let us worship the Lord. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou hast been slain, and art redeemed us to God, by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and has made us unto God kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, 
Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I sing. Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Amen. Shall we all rise up and sing, O worship the King, all glory, glorious above. Instead of following the book, let us follow the system. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, He became man. He came into this world to die on the cross for our salvation, resurrected from the dead. He is the glorious King, seated on a throne, high above the heavens with the Father and the Holy Spirit, humbled Himself to the death on the cross, to lay down in the tomb, break the sting on the cross, swallow death in the tomb. He is the resurrected King of Kings. Oh, worship the King, all glorious above. Oh, great
When we say the Lord's Prayer, are we ready to enter heaven? When we ask God with a condition to forgive our sins, if only we forgive those who sin against us. Let us be meaningful. Let us say this prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the time of trial, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. We'll turn towards a responsive reading from the book of Psalms. Psalm number 24. After this, Chalcedony will sing a special psalm. Psalm number 24. Psalm number 24. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein upon the seas and established it upon the waters who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place he who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his son soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation this is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. The song's name is Above All Powers, Above All Kings. It, songs about, it sings about Jesus, his crucifixion, and how he is laid behind the stone, and how he lived after the death as well. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature, and all created things above all wisdom and all the ways of man you were here before the world began above all kingdoms above all thrones above all wonders the world ever known above all wealth and treasures of the earth there's no way to measure what's your worth crucified laid behind a stone you live to die 
rejected and alone like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and thought of me above all like a rose trampled on the ground you took Praise the Lord. Today is the triumphal entry of our Lord Jesus Christ into the city of peace, Jerusalem. Concentrating on that auspicious and august and great occasion, we want to celebrate the great event of the Lord entered Jerusalem as a king of kings to Jews in particular and king of kings in general to the whole world. Shall we take a text from Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter 19? Let us read from verse 41 onwards. Luke's Gospel, chapter 19. Let us read from verse 41 onwards. Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known, even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes. For days will come upon you 
when your enemies will build an embankment around you surround you and close you in on every side and level you and your children within you to the ground and they will not leave even you one stone upon another because because you did not know the time of your visitation let's pray loving gracious heavenly father thanking you for your presence in the midst of this congregation two believers coming together oh you value that meeting as so great you have promised your presence how much more you are with us how far we are with you push us into introspection to get right with you lord accept our praises and teach us how to worship you in spirit and in truth as we did read the text on this great occasion of triumphal entry of lord jesus into the city of peace we may look into the passion of christ open our eyes to see the wonderful things in your word let the words of your servant's mouth and meditation of all our heart may be acceptable in your sight we pray in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen today jerusalem city was on uproar right from dawn to dusk many christian throughout the globe will gather there in order to celebrate the great event of this triumphal entry of jesus into the city of jerusalem they want to enact the scene and the act that has taken place more than 2000 years ago what is the importance of this entry into jerusalem this is foretold by great prophets like daniel and zacharias daniel in his prophecy of 70 weeks not week of days but week of years like that 7 into 70 490 years of the prophetic calendar the prophetic timeline the 70 weeks prophecy setting the date of messiah in an accurate manner the date 444 march 15 happened to be the commencement of the 70 weeks prophecy in the book of nehemiah when he viewed the rubble and ruins of the city of peace he was stricken with great passion started praying to god fasting and as a result of his prayer as a result of his concern for the city that contains the tombs of their poor fathers because they are with hope in christ one day they will come alive therefore he made a petition he did not ask anything but he prayed to god and made a petition to god and his countenance fell and dismayed that means countenance his face so sudden no joy in the presence of the king and queen it's a big crime a sad man should not enter a lame man should not be seen by the king so and so forth but he could not control himself because of the sadness having heard the news of destruction of jerusalem his face saddened because he is deeply grief stricken in his heart and mind and the queen and the king noticed it and asked him they made an enquiry rather why so far you are not sad like this what happened to you then he responded in a very constructive and a positive way that is yes don't i have sadness when the city which contains the tombs of our forefather is in rubble and ruins aha uh -huh. what is your request then do you know a small prayer because the king and the queen asked you know he did not jump to answer ah, i want this and that i want leave no he didn't say like that but do you know what was he made a small prayer to god without the notice of the queen and the emperor 
and then he made his petition and leave okay then the king said done that is the commencement of march 15 444 bc the command that is delivered by this emperor for the jerusalem to be rebuilt okay then up to coming to the messiah revealing himself as the king of the jews to that point 69 weeks each week contains 7 years one more week is left that is the end of this age where antichrist is going to be revealed the uh, events and the acts that are written in the book of revelation are going to take place three and of years one part and three and of years another part so antichrist is going to play a big role uh, as the destroyer of the human race as he is antichrist never forget that now the date setting is on the day when jesus or the messiah declared himself deliberately as the king of the jews zechariah 99 tells us behold your coming your king is coming on a colt and an ass holding with the message of peace no war if jesus is seated on the throne in mount zion i am in mount zion the whole world will be shivering at the feet of the lord jesus be is the king of kings and lord of lords he is the creator and he is the god of gods the so called demigods who are called the holy angels who fell down you know that is what does it mean god of gods not that god means elohim god the father god the son and god the holy spirit co equal in their substance sharing all the divine attributes equally no body is inferior to the other person three are equal the rest of the angels that fell down they became now small g gods g o d s small g so our god is all the time is shown in the big g g o d so jesus when you use that when you started writing in any fashion never forget put the capital all the time god means capital not small g small g is all the time the demi gods which are not gods fallen angels so on that day the date is when messiah is revealed in 6th april 32 ad when jesus revealed himself 69th week of daniel's prophecy was fulfilled and the fashion and the manner how he is going to come is he will come on a donkey on a colt in other words a small one an ang one so nobody on that day in jerusalem except jesus christ make a claim of the pro- pro- prophecy of the daniel 69th week completion and then the prophetic watch is clock is stopped there because they are go- not going to accept jesus as their christ god knows it that is the reason on the 69th week of daniel's prophecy the prophetic wa- clock will stop functioning that's all the fashion that is sitting on a colt coming as a humble person from mount of olives that is jakaraya said these two big eschatological prophets foretold the great event of triumphal entry of jesus into the city of peace what happened to the religious clerics at the time of the birth of christ all the magicians who are astrologers they studied the scriptures because of mordeca and daniel uh, i mean mordeca and esther and all the people who were there in iran the, the modern iran happened to be uh, the persian kingdom at that time they have established a big, great historical impact and a biblical impact on those people therefore because of the wonders that happened because of their fasting prayers and dedication and devotion and sacrificial acts ready to die for the cause of their god that has made many people to be converted proselyte 
into the Judaism. Many people hug the God of Abraham, Isaac, the Jews, God of the Jews, because he is so living and powerful. He could make upside down anything, any king, any emperor, any kind of situation, any kind of devil's device. They have viewed and sensed with their own eyes. Therefore, they thought their God is true God. Their God is a mighty God and all-powerful God. They are converted into Judaism. Started praising Lord, of, Lord God of the Jews, Yahweh. Reading the whole Torah, the Old Testament scriptures. In that way, they have perceived and studied one revelation from the nature. A star appeared. On the eastern side, then they could able to connect the dots, the prophetic dots into the current event of a star shining in the firmament. Then they have connected that these prophecies to the fulfillment of the birth of Christ. They came all the way from these countries and they made a way to Jerusalem and started telling where was he who was born as the king of the Jews. Herod was troubled very much. And the whole Jerusalem was troubled very much. They did not know they are sleeping. What? They are studying the scripture. The fulfillment of the prophecies. Everything is zero. Except, you know, they are holding the farms of the priesthood and all these things. Gaining monies. And gaining popularity. But not the prophecies fulfillment. So, they could not meet Jesus Christ at his birth. Had they studied the scripture and the time of messianic age also is beautifully predicted, if not a particular date. So, Jesus entered on that day. When we were there in Holy Land, has taken the third trip. Uh, I think uh, Mrs. Niharika uh, tried to come, you know, Niharika and Rajita, these people denied, uh, uh, they could not uh, obtain uh, visas. So sometimes the Israelite people, you know, so skeptic because of uh, the enmity they are facing and the subtle devices of Satan. Many people uh, unauthorized started intruding the premises and they are be creating big havoc, that is the reason. So. Previously, we used to come down from the Mount of Olives, visiting Garden of Gethsemane, visiting the place where Jesus ascended from the mountain cliff of uh, uh, this Mount of Olives. From there, we will made way down. It's a big test to the knees. Slope, we have to come down. But today, there are railings. Last time, we came to the next, that is a bit more closer to the city. When we see there, you know, as if we are, the city is just before our eyes, extended from one end to the other. A bird's eye view, first time. This time, you know, as if it is embossed uh, and that is just before us. Exactly, Jesus stood there, viewed the city from one end to the other end started weeping and beating his chest. That is the event on this day because he held in his hand the message of peace and prosperity and joy. He is also sure why he is shedding tears. They are going to reject the offer of Messiah to them. They don't want to recognize Jesus as their Messiah. Thereby, the message of peace, the package of the blessings of peace are also going to be rejected. If they reject Messiah, as Jesus said in John's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 5, apart from me you can do nothing. So, everything is in Christ, by Christ, through Christ. If anybody want to escape Christ, Oh yes, that is for his own eternal destruction. But one day he has to face Christ because God the Father has designated him as the judge of all the human flesh, all the people. One day, whether angels, the satanic forces or the believers in Christ as a Bemasit's judgment, reward, awarding uh, ceremony or it is a judgment to 
condemnation everybody has to face jesus nobody can escape the presence of jesus so on that day the lord entered the city and wept over the city in the morning we have a big outline so it's very short in the evening this is different perspective how jesus declared himself is a prince of peace that is the thing that is the first insight prince of peace in uh, christmas prophecy book of isaiah the biggest prophetic book chapter 9 verse 6 also is telling he is the prince of peace the last part of the sixth verse of the ninth chapter he is the prince of peace so far the kings created lot of havoc when israel was under the leadership of one king starting from saul unto solomon after that it is divided judah and israel so why god punished them because they did not give heed to the words of god making friendship with the heathen people learning their evil ways and practicing all immoral activities in the morning i stressed again i am telling because in these days these are very very important sexual immorality is playing a very big role today in the internet the secret of man and woman is exposed explicitly so how we are deal- dealing with that problem so god said thou shall not uncover the nakedness of your aunt nakedness of your uh, uncle nakedness of your brother nakedness of your sister thou shall not uncover that means remove their clothes and see their nudity thou shall not do this immoral activities making a sexual immoral relationship and gratifying their sexual desires the land vomited those people out because they have practiced all these lewd acts suppose peradventure having entered that place the holy land if you do practice the same things illegal relationship immoral activities and practicing all these kind of lewd things it will vomit you out it will vomit you out that is what happened in then those days olden days so today god is so gracious israel ceased to exist in 9 in 720 uh, bc because god delivered it into the hands of the ungodly kings the assyrian captivity and judah remained judah also practiced the same kind of things making you know uh, deifying the human being sometimes they are also importing the uh, the uh, Uh, the so called demi gods from the heathen communities practicing all these religious evil practices which craft and all these things you know apart from the immoral activities so god also delivered juda also into the hands of nebuchadnezzar in 8 um, 70 8 uh, 73 bc the juda also seized to be a nation no king nothing they became tributary and they are defeated by the other kings over now they are praying and deploring there are some godly people god has sent prophecies and god is waiting for the messianic age at last it came through the christmas what happened when he was just a child he used to be brought up in nazareth synagogue he used to go and read the scripture having completed 30 years of his age on that day also he stood up as usual they have given the torah into the hands of jesus then he has taken luke's gospel that is isaiah's book in the luke's gospel that is quoted the messianic passage what is going to be the manifesto of the messianic kingdom what are the blessings they are going to receive it is all peace and prosperity and then jesus said in your presence this prophecy is fulfilled outrageous stood up took hold of the hand of jesus dragged him to a mountain cliff 
where there was a city also in Nazareth. And they tried to push Jesus down, upside down, from the steep top of the mountain onto the valley so that he may be hitting against the stones and rocks and dashing into pieces the head and the body. Jesus immediately made himself loose from their grip and he started making a way to Capernaum. Then Capernaum became the Lord's hometown. He shifted his headquarter from Nazareth to this Capernaum, Galilee. In, other, in Galilee, the place is changed, that's all. So after that, having ministered three and a half years, he preached the gospel, he proclaimed the word of God, and also to make a confirmation of this person is no other than Jesus of Nazareth, he is the very Messiah that has been uh, established with the signs and wonders Jesus did. So these signs showed the divine power. A common man, ordinary human being cannot perform which are exclusive to the divine power. Therefore Jesus made an appeal to them. If you don't believe me as your Messiah because I am telling, because of my words, at least you believe my deeds. If not my words. Jesus made an appeal to them. Hmm? They blindfolded their eye to the truth that Jesus performed miracles. If I did not perform miracles which God only can do, yeah, you may not believe me. But having performed and demonstrated the power of God through my signs, these signs are showing that I am equal with the Father. They rejected Jesus. In this day, the completion of the 69th week of the Daniel's prophecy, then a break. The 70th week happened to be the week of the great tribulation on this globe under the rule of Antichrist. That is going to be divided by three and of three and of two parts. The book of Revelation events are going to take place. He came as a prince of peace. They rejected. Therefore, they fell into the hands of the uh, heathen people into the Titus, the Roman general, he came and invaded the city and destroyed it and erased all the foundations and he plowed the land from one end to the other end. You can imagine such a big and beautiful city is plowed, the very foundation stones were also rolled down. Eleven lakhs of people died of famine and sword. Ninety thousand people were ca caught up and were shown uh, as a slaves to Egypt because they were, they were t carried, conveyed into the market of Egypt from Holy Land to the Egypt where Jesus said you should never turn back to Egypt again but to that place they were carried again as captives and they were also shown in the market to sell them people came and sh showing, looking at them and uh, see what kind of people are these these slaves Waste of food and waste of money. Therefore, nobody bought them. 90,000 people were taken in the ships in order to be sold as slaves in the markets of Egypt. Nobody bought them. The captors beating their chest, how much money we have spent on these fellows? 90,000 people, how much money we have spent? Not even a single rupee we could able to gain except the loss. Therefore, they raised their legs and crushed them and they loosed their bonds and chased them out just like they are chasing the dogs. Why all these things? Because they rejected the offer of peace. He came as a priest. The priestly office, prince, there are three offices. One is office of the prince, the king, Office of the priest, a mediator between God and man. Office of a prophet. So, these are important offices, important ministries. Prophet is, is all the time on the side of God. If there is any social injustice, he will definitely find it out and raise his voice on behalf of God and mend your ways. Otherwise, God is going to judge you. That is prophet's office. That is corrupted at that time. And priest. 
my goodness the very high priest seated on the throne and he has ordered the crucifixion of jesus he conspired he made other people to uh, 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 to criticize jesus to attack jesus in their uh, criti- criticisms and they made all kind of cunning and shrewd devices in order to catch him legally to prosecute him and to see that he is eliminated because their very existence they felt in threat because jesus entered the the temple and started pulling down all their tables and he has a uh, uh, made loose all the animals that are sold as animals for the sacrifice if i buy a, a if a person want to buy to give a sacrifice to god a goat suppose if it is 500 rupees or in our uh, uh, price today if, if it is uh, uh, 5000 rupees you know in the temple they used to say that whatever the animal is brought you know oh the inspectors will come it is a little fa- fault is there on its left leg so it is unfit if it is perfect also they will find out some fault and nullify therefore having stood in the line for hours and days sometimes in order to come to the priest and make offer him a sacrifice it is better to buy here rather than bringing a goat from our flock so they stopped bringing their own out of their own stock but rather they were ready to buy because the temple inspectors are there to find fault with the lambs or the goats which are brought by them therefore they are ready to offer the sacrifices in that way they will increase the price like anything how many times they are it is a the temple is a place of worship but it is a temple of looting and it is a den of thieves that is what god said jesus christ said on that day all the priests are conducting these kind of evil things they are the owners they have got the monopoly of these practices in order to gain lot of monies what for how long can they live and eat all these things love of money is the root cause of all evil but today our high priest is not like that his order is not from the order of aharon his order is after the order of melchisedek just two references please let us turn along with me uh, hebrews chapter 2 paul's letter to hebrews chapter 2 uh, i am reading verse uh, uh, 16 uh, onwards see chapter 2 hebrews 16 onwards for indeed he does not give aid to angels but he does give aid to the seed of abraham therefore in all things he had to be made like his brethren he means jesus he might be a merciful and a faithful high priest see he should show mercy at the same time faithful in keeping the standards of the priesthood he don't divorce to the principles and the standards that's why he is merciful and faithful merciful towards a sinner and faithful toward god to keep up the standards of the high priest in things pertaining to god to make propitiation for the sins of the people see another golden text in 18 for in that he himself has suffered being tempted he is able to aid those who are tempted what a great promise for us he will aid us he will help us he is also tempted but without any sin he is tempted so that he want to experience in first hand what are the devices the subtle devices of satan what is the weakness of a sinner and how he can really overcome how he can made an intercede in the, uh, intercede on their behalf before god and give them strength and solace in order to get victory over these weaknesses and failures for in that he himself has suffered being tempted he is able to aid those who are tempted coming to the conclusion 7th chapter verse 24 onwards i am reading but he because he is continuous he continues forever not like an aharonic priesthood which is a uh, default uh, uh, priesthood and also one priest dies another priest comes it is not like that with jesus 
बट ही बिकॉज ही कंटिन्यूज फॉर एवर हैज एन अनचेंजेबल प्रिस्ट हुड देर फोर ही इज ऑल्सो एबल टू सेव टू द ट्रमोज दो कम इन टू गार्ड थ्रू हिम सिंस ही ऑलवेज लिवस टू मेक इंटरसेशन फॉर देम for such a high priest see the words now concluding words for such a high priest was fitting for us fitting for us who is holy harmless undefiled separate from sinners and has become higher than the heavens who does not need daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifices first for his own sins and then for the people's for this he did once for all when he offered up himself hallelujah forever so such a good high priest what is the third insight passover lamb also it is very peculiar generally the victim or the scapegoat or the goat or an animal for sacrifice the worshipper will bring it is the duty of the high priest to, to cut its throat collect the blood and sprinkle on them and make an atonement in the presence of god turning towards the screen where there is the mercy seat and he made an appeal on behalf of the sinners to show mercy and forgiveness but do you see here a high priest he himself is the high priest he himself is the passover lamb John 1:29 says behold the lamb of god that carried the sins of the world therefore sitting on a donkey jesus as a lamb donkey as a sinner what is this i will show you a big key biblical text book of exodus book of exodus chapter 13 and verse 13 Book of Exodus, chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. But every firstborn of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb. See, there are many, many, many animals and birds accepted. Certain things are not accepted. The first and foremost is a donkey. God doesn't accept any donkey. Suppose I am rearing up or feeding donkeys. I am bringing up donkeys. The I have donkey. God, I have brought my donkey. The tithe, one out of ten, or ten out of hundred, I brought it. No, 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 no. You should not bring donkey. What shall I do, God? You must bring instead of a donkey, which is not accepted by God. Hey, you bring a lamb. That is the transaction here. See clearly now. But every firstborn of a donkey, you shall redeem with a lamb. And if you will not redeem it. if you don't want to redeem it then you shall break its neck that's all that is the only the fate of these donkeys if a lamb is not brought in the place of a donkey if the worshipper the offering you know is not the transaction made interchangeable that is donkey instead of donkey if a lamb is substituted if that is not substituted then the command of god is break its neck and kill it that's all that is the fate of me and you and all of us we are sinners like donkeys going as stray as we like the only thing is breaking the neck that's all it's a judgment but a wonderful provision instead of breaking the neck of a donkey there is a lamb that is going to be slain in the donkey's place so lamb of god jesus sitting on the donkey donkey chin our children are singing beautifully gaadi da nenayya what is that song gaadi da nenayya mari esayemo devuni gorre pilla kaabatti gorre pilla gaadi de meda nundu vastund anamata endukani gaadi dina pratikinchali gorre pilla dachipovali that is the thing how what a sacrificial act on this wonderful day jesus sitting on the colt or an ass according to the prophecies recording the divine requirements of propitiation and acceptance by god in the book of exodus chapter 13 and 3 verse 13 he is the passover lamb to be slain and the final point is he is also a prophet that word we will read and close the meditation mark's gospel chapter 19 
फोर्टी वन आनवर्ड्स ही ड्रू नियर द सिटी ही सा द सिटी एंड वेप्ट ओवर इट वाई बिकॉज दे आर गोइंग टू रिजेक्ट हिम दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू रिसीव हिम इफ यू हैड नोन इवन यू एस्पेशली इन दिस यूवर डे द थिंग्स दैट मेक्स फॉर यूर पीस बट नाउ दे आर हिडन फ्रॉम यूअर आईज फॉर डेज विल कम दिस इज द कंडमनेशन अपॉन यू when your enemies will build an embankment around you surround you and close you in on every side and level you and your children within you to the ground and they will not leave in you one stone upon another because you did not know the time of your visitation you did not know i think no need of any translation because all are english service congregation प्रभु नि दर्शन कल एरकुटे प्रकट ग्रंथम पंद इन चुप्त इधो नीन तल निचु तटचु नी दगर उ बिड नील अविधेयत दिद्को अदेटो नीके बैठे उन्कने आईना नीन वदल बैठ उ तल तीस्ते नापलकोस्ता नि आशीर्वदिस्ट नीक शिक्षक ने बड़ी नि रक्षिस् आये वेल्लीन तरह से नरक पड़न तरह वै पीपल आर् ग्नाशिंग देर टीथ प्लकिंग देर हेयर बीटिंग देर चेस्ट डू यू नो बिकाज द सावे अंड द सेवियर स्टूड बिफोर द हार्ट आफ मई लाइफ हि प्लीडेड मी हि प्रीच द गुड न्यूज आफ पीज टू मी बट ई रिजेक्टेड ई कि कि अवट आल द आफर्स आफ पीज देर फोर he retreated from the, the child of god what happens if light is withdrawn darkness will come what happens if the savior is rejected the killer will come that's all if heaven is not your choice hell will come that is what happened to the jews in the history pray for the peace of jerusalem be warned today be careful today to get right with god what are the things contrary in your life put all your proposals at the feet of jesus christ your savior your owner your creator your feeder your protector and what not may god bless this meditation for our spiritual blessing amen brother b s rajgar pradhan chestar devun vakyam falinchatu in telugu Are in English as he used to pray. Namaskaram, Prabhu. Purvaruku, my name is Andri. You are the one who is 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 the one नीव देवड़वी तेस नशिपोत प्रभा ना नीव देवड़वन तेसकने गोप भाग्यमचार नाना हृदय बैठ नि नाना तंरी नवे तटना ना एपड़ते कमोमा तो नीव उ ना तंरी मम्मी नी सो निंपना दोष शिक्षण नीव भरी प्रभा परलोक राजा की सिद्धपड़ गोप देवड़ प्रभा नी को वंदना नाना नीव प्रभा अन्नी विषया चालीन देवड़ नमदगन वाड़ प्रभा जीवित नू वाओ प्रभा नी को वंदना नाना नी ओक राज प्रभा तंरी नीय प्रभा प्रवक्ता नाना प्रभा नीव तंरी रक्षकड़ प्रभा प्रती अन्नी विषया नीवे निजम का मम्मी नड़प्चा नी को वंदना नी वाक्या विन प्रति नीर कटे फलिंपजे प्रभा रीति का मेमंदर प्रभा ना रक्षकड़ वे ना प्रभा मरी भक्षकड़ पटकनी ना परलोक वे प्रभा नरक उ चाल स्पष्ट नीमा तो माटाड़ो ना एवरेवर इट भाग्यम लेक नरका गोजाड़नारो आलू नाना प्रभा नी रक्षा वार्ता एवरेवर ना आनल आफ्ल विनारो प्रति ना नी हृदय ना वार हृदया सन्निपजे ने रक्षण दिन ने 
విమోచన దినం అని గ్రహించి నాయన వారి మనసు నీకు ఇవ్వడానికి సిద్ధపాటు కలిగి ప్రవ్వా మారు మనసు బాప్తేశం దయచేసి నీ సన్నిధిలో బిడ్డలు నిలబెట్టి సహాయం చేయమని చిన్న ప్రార్థన ఏ శక్తి కల నామంలో స్థుతించి ప్రార్థిస్తున్నాం తండ్రి లెట్ సై ద క్రీడ్ ఐ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ గాడ్ ద ఫాదర్ ఆల్ మై టీ క్రియేటర్ ఆఫ్ హెవెన్ అండ్ అర్త్ ఐ బిలీవ్ ఇన్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ సన్ అవర్ లాడ్ he was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting the lord be with you let's pray o lord show your mercy towards us clothe your ministers with righteousness o lord save your people o lord be gracious to our country o lord guide our rulers give peace to the world o lord be mindful out of all in trouble and distress o oh god send your holy spirit upon us amen amen shall we all rise up and sing the song of dedication i am thine o oh lord when we are singing this hymn i am thine emphatically we should say lord i don't belong to myself i don't belong to anybody i belong to you totally not withholding anything to give to satan i am thine oh lord from top to bottom nobody has any control of my life i submit everything at your altar lord have mercy upon me let us make a dedication on the altar a consecration not simply with our lip but with a heart decision i am thy no lord i have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me thy love to Yeah. 
come forward make an introspection check up yourself we come with a heart of peace and consent చేరియున్నారు బిడ్డలను దీవించి చక్కని స్వపరీక్షతో సమ్మతి కలిగిన హృదయంతో చున్నాము తండ్రి ఆమె let's pray dear loving heavenly father most gracious lord we thank you and praise you in this evening time father we thank you and praise you for bringing all of us into this course in this evening time again father 
we thank you for the word that you have given to us in this day father lord you have entered triumphantly entered into the city of jerusalem father which they supposed to be waited for you father but the very people that those have scriptures in their hand rejected you father but you lord so gracious to us a heathen people like me and us father you look us you look at us and by your grace father you enable us and made us to believe kept our trust and belief on you father it is your grace mercy father we thank you for that father we are praising for that father thank you for the salvation that you given to me and to all of us father those who trust in our lord jesus father we thank you father and give us a good mind to hold the faith to the very end of our life until the secret coming of our lord father we are also thanking for the people that gathered in this evening father please bless them father we are also praying for the people that the, the kids that are attempting their exams father please be with them and give them wisdom so that they can attend good marks and get the good ranks father we are also pray, praying for the uh, of a tree that was collected in this evening father please use it for the extension of your kingdom father we thank you and we give glory to you to you for elon father as we are taking leave out of this place please bless us and send us amen. all with your blessings amen. in jesus most precious name we pray amen. amen now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the father and the sweet communion of the holy spirit god rest and abide with us from now and evermore amen abide with me past past even turn the darkness deepens what we abide when other helpers fail and comforts me help of the helpless soul abide with me praise the lord good evening to everybody from today onwards the holy week ministry has been commenced so from tomorrow onwards up to thursday evenings 7 to 8:30 1 and 1/2 hour service uh, the holy week each and every day what the what are the acts and the teachings of jesus are going to be meditated just sharp 7 to 8:30 on thursday we are going to have holy communion on the day that jesus was delivered into the hands of the ungodly people his arrest and all before that he observed in the uh, upper room in jerusalem uh, the holy communion service so we will also have the service and on friday at 10 of uh, 10:45 10:45 initial of 10:30 10:45 uh, am is it uh, prime chin prime 10:45 am till 3 pm we are going to have the message of the words of jesus on the cross god bless you thank you very much play pray and participate human i am just a man help me believe what i could be in all that i am show me the stairway i have to climb lord for my sake teach me to day the time sweet jesus that 
Show me the way. 